Eagle 7 here and in this video we're going to talk about OGE or out of ground effect hover again when deploying the weapon systems. I did a previous video but I wanted to touch on some other information that might be useful in establishing your OGE. On the iHeads, take a look at the right hand side. This is your VVI or VSI, your vertical speed indicator. Each tick mark is 100 feet and the larger tick mark is 500 feet and that's either rate of climb or rate of descent feet per minute. So that'll be important when we work on the OGE. But let's go ahead and get airborne and fly out to the target area and uh, see if we can put this into practice again and we'll talk our way through it. So let's get the helicopter light on its wheels, bring in the collective up, anticipate left pedal. I'm going to need a little left cyclic. go. Let's bring it right up into a hover here. Still trying to get the feel of this new Win Wing F-16 joystick. Believe it or not, something as simple as changing out your joystick kind of messes with your muscle memory. But here we go. We're established hover here. We'll go ahead and do a normal departure and then turn to a heading of 227. Let's go ahead and ease the nose forward, maintain directional control with the anti-torque pedals. Passing through 40 knots, increasing the collective. Pitching for about 70 knot attitude here. There we go. Alright, let's come to a heading of 227. We'll go ahead and enter transition mode on our iHads. Alright. So let's talk about some of the aerodynamic factors that happen when you're trying to slow the aircraft down and enter into a hover. We have to do coordinated control inputs. If we just do one input, it's not going to work very well for us. So let's talk about each individual control and then we'll put it all together over the target area. So let's go ahead and get level here at about a thousand feet. So take a look at the right hand side, that vertical velocity indicator. You can see it moves around quite a bit, but we're, we're trying to target, if we want it a thousand feet, we're going to want to get there's a thousand. And then that carrot should be on that larger line. And that's level flight, as far as I understand it. Okay, so if we're in level flight, we're cruising at about 100 knots, and we want to enter into our out of ground effect hover. If we were just to pull back on the stick, on the cyclic, here, as I release the pressure on the cyclic, you notice we're climbing, even though we're losing airspeed on the left hand side of the eye edge, you see we're losing airspeed, but we've just gained 250 feet. Okay, so let's go ahead and level off at uh, 1,250. So that's not going to work. So let's try lowering, just lowering the collective. So if we're in level flight, we want to slow down and we think, well, let's lower the collective. So we lower the collective slowly, anticipate a little right pedal. But if you don't do anything with your cyclic, you can see you're descending and your airspeed is increasing. So we don't want that either. So this is where that control coordination comes into play. Let's go ahead and get back up to a thousand feet. Let me bring George up. We'll actually go ahead and deploy. weapons on target here. So let's get back up to a thousand feet. So on the right hand side our VBI is showing there about two, three hundred feet rate of climb. We can increase that slightly with a little aft and a little collective. Uh, aft cyclic and uh, up collective. 
All right, this ought to do. So this is where the coordinated controls come in. So let's do everything together. So uh, we're going to slowly uh, lower the collective, but we know the nose is going to dip and airspeed's going to pick up. So we're going to need a little aft cyclic. So let's lower the collective, right pedal, and relax that pressure on that cyclic. Watch that BVI. So let's pull back on the cyclic. Let's, we want to keep that BVI at just about neutral. And you'll find as we pass through ETL or effective translational lift, we're going to have to come back in with the collective, up collective, to slow our uh, sink rate. Now keep coming back on the cyclic, left pedal. Now look at our VVI, we're sinking, it's more collective. Watch that carrot, bring that carrot back up. We're climbing a little, so take a little collective out. A little more aft cyclic, we're at 10 knots forward airspeed. But look at our VVI, we're descending, so a little more collective, left pedal. And then you'll get to a point, we're climbing a little, so take a little collective out. And it takes a little bit of coordination. But we can maintain a fairly stable hover. Maybe a little bit of forward airspeed. A little aft cyclic would stop that. And if you look at our velocity vector, we need a little aft and a little left cyclic. We're drifting. So I haven't put any trim in. I'm just using force against the springs. But our VVI on the right side is showing a fairly stable hover. So let's go ahead and see if we can define. There should be some tanks out here. So let's ask George to take a look over here. See if we can and slaving. Find He's slaving. Yep, he found them. All right. So Blazing. there we go. Now even I find when you're trying to manipulate the controls on the cyclic stick or wherever you have them bound to, you do kind of drift a little bit. I guess that's just the nature of the beast. Okay, so he's got one of our tanks locked up. Let's go ahead and give him consent to fire. Firing. Okay, so watch that BVI on the right. We're climbing about 200 feet a minute, so we want to just lower that collective and a little aft cyclic. We picked a little forward speed up, so aft cyclic will slow us down. Now our VVI, bring it in a little collective. So if your VVI is going down, you want to increase collective. If you're climbing, you decrease collective, and you do it slowly. So let's go. There should be one more tank out here. Let's go ahead and see if he can find that other tank. Laser and deslaving. There it is. Laser on. And we'll give him consent to fire. Roger, engaging. Now look at that VVI. So we're climbing a little. But we could use a little aft cyclic because we have 14 knots. Let's go ahead and try to remain stable for George. Lower that collective just ever so slightly. Lasers off. Target destroyed. Right, good effects. So that kind of gives you a brief overview again of entering an out of ground effect hover. The key instrument to watch in the iHats is on the right hand side your vertical vertical velocity indicator and that carrot will give you a pretty good indication of whether you're climbing or descending and you can use the uh, airspeed on the left hand side we're at 18 knots along with your acceleration cue in the iHats so it kind of shows us that we're moving forward by about 15 knots and we're drifting a little bit to the right so if I want to correct that, it would be a little aft left cyclic and watch that circle, acceleration cueing circle, come back in a little bit. But now look what happened to our VVI, right? So as we were focusing on our airspeed and drift, our VVI started to descend, so increase collective slightly. So working all the controls and coordination and using the information in your iHAD should allow you to maintain a fairly stable out of ground effect hover. So I hope that helps and we'll see you on the next one.